It's an ambitious project, and it's been years in the making. Dedicated volunteers have been working to restore Bowker Creek, and last weekend they placed thousands of salmon eggs in the urban stream. Tess Van Stratton takes a look in this week's Vital People. Volunteers with the Friends of Bowker Creek Society carry another heavy load down to the water. Preparing this part of the creek in Oak Bay for thousands of salmon eggs. Bowker Creek has been a salmon stream for probably 6,000 years, with the exception of the last 100 years. And um, so we want that to be just a little blip in, <laughs> in the creek's history. Gerald Harris has spearheaded this ambitious project. You can see the eggs in the tubes inside. Mm -hmm. Which is seeing close to 30,000 chum salmon eggs deposited in the urban creek, which had been degraded by development. What we've essentially done is we've established a trajectory towards recovery. There's been, you know, acts and acts of disrespect to this, to this aquatic system and this watershed historically. With the help of the Peninsula Stream Society, the eggs are being placed in gravel to incubate. If you put the eggs into the gravel for a few weeks before they hatch, and then they can come naturally out of that gravel, those fish have a better sense of how to get back. It wouldn't be possible without dozens of volunteers, not just on this day, but the hundreds of people over the years who've helped restore the creek to get it to this point. So what I'm interested in is feeling close to the actual surroundings that I live in and, and trying to fix some of the things, that, some of the harms that were done. Eldon only moved to Victoria in 2020, but was eager to get involved and give back. It's kind of extra important as a newcomer. I'm living here, I'm, I'm using the same resources as everybody else, and I, I wanted to find a way to connect to that and help make the place where I live as good as it can be. Man with the eggs. Excitement builds as volunteers get ready to put the eggs in the water. So what will happen is they, they will, we'll hand them one by one. There are just over 2,000 chum eggs in each tube. And Gerald does the honors. It makes me feel very good. It's a hopeful thing. We're by no means assured of this working, but, um, but it's, it's helping us go in the right direction. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.